Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video on the Just Kitchen channel. So, in today's video, we're going to be ranking every single new gen Bleach game. By new gen Bleach games, I mean like games that came out in 2020 to 2023 and in the future. So the games like that won't be included in this list is like Blotch and Bleach Primera, maybe because they're old and I know a lot of you guys haven't played them. But if you guys can jump into the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications, I'm going to try to hit 20k subs for the new year, so please let's go. So the first game we talk about is Project Migetsu. The reason Project Migetsu is so low, I mean the game has stunning visuals and etc. But the only thing about Project Migetsu that, did that I dislike is the PvP, which is really bad in this game. That's why it's so low, maybe because the PvP is bad. Plus it's very easy to grind in this game, so this is like probably one of the easiest Bleach games to pick up because the grind is just so easy. And yeah, it's just a really good Bleach game in a whole. Now the other game we're going to talk about is Type Soul. Type Soul, it was a fun phenomenal game when it first came out but the problem that everyone has with type soul is the grind and how they made everything really hard to get in the game and plus the only thing that was really good about the game in my personal opinion is the pvp and that is probably the reason that a lot of people still play the game to this day because the pvp is really good but the issue with the game is the grinding and the way to obtain things in this game is just hell basically you just have to farm so much you have to become a entirely no life to even get anywhere up into the game but when you do all that grinding you're only able to use your ability once an hour and yeah that's pretty much it you basically just been farming for like nothing but yeah at the end of the day it was a really good bleach game i really did enjoy playing it and grinding it with friends it was really nice but the problem with it is just that the grind was just really bad and the weight the requirements and everything was just so farming your mind it was just farming your brain <laughs> it was just brain farming you basically but yeah it was nice it was a nice bleach game i really like it the pvp was a phenomenal and I just really hope that in the future they might revive the game more. I mean, the game is still alive to this current point. I was like, what, 5k when I'm recording this video? I mean, it still has some constant people still playing the game. But I hope that it brings back some more people in the future by them fixing stuff. I know they've been fixing stuff like making it easier to obtain stuff like Bankai, Full Standing, and uh, Resurrection. I know they've been working on stuff like that. But I really do hope that in the future they added more stuff that makes the games fun. I mean, I still see that they're updating the game and etc. But I just hope that they do more stuff in the future. And tell me guys thoughts on Type Soul in the comments below. I know a lot of people came to my channel from Type Soul as well. I don't know if they're still watching, but I know a lot of people came from Type Soul when I was doing some Type Soul videos. But yeah, now, on to the next game. So the next game that we're going to be talking about is a game that is very interesting. Because it's a game that a lot of you guys won't know of. And the game that we're going to be talking about is Bleach Revival. Bleach Revival is an upcoming story Bleach game. It's a story Bleach game that will... Basically, the only way to progress in this game is by doing the story mode, and the story mode will help you a lot throughout the quest, and everything is just cinematic in this game, it's just really nice. So if you guys are down to play story games, this will be the perfect game for you, because the story is really good. I really played it in testing, it was really nice, we really do like the story mode, I really do like everything that they have in the game so far. The only problem I have with it is the PvP. Now, the problem with the PvP, I mean it's a story game, so basically PvP is like the least of your worries, you're just going to be like doing more, merely PvE, but the problem I have with the PvP is if you guys know about a game called Soul War, the reason I didn't include this game in today's video is because this is basically the sequel to Soul War, so I'm taking, it's pretty much a sequel to Soul War, just a better version, but the game is really good. I really do like the dev team, they've been working really hard on the game to make the story really good. Like, they've been non-stop working on the story mode and visuals and everything about the game and bug fixes and etc. The game is really good. It's estimated to release like, or, like in December or early next year because they've just been like fixing stuff, redoing stuff and etc. But the PvP, yeah, the PvP is very similar to that of Soul War. Like, the spam parry spam m1s like it's basically that like no skill required it's basically move spamming and just you know etc but the reason i have it above something like type soul is because progression in this game is not that hard as compared to something like type soul where you have to literally stay on the game all day doing raids and etc but in this game all you need to do is just pretty much just play the story mode and you'll be able to progress it's basically it you play the story mode and then afterwards you just go into fights but on to the other game we have reaper 2 reaper 2 Reaper 2, in my personal opinion, is still one of the greatest Bleach games that we had on the channel. I know there's Reaper 1 as well, so uh, when I have games like, for example, like Bleach Revival before, I had them like in 1, like Soul War and them, because, you know, I wouldn't include Reaper 1, because Reaper 1 was really good, but Reaper 2 is where it was good at. Reaper 2 have so much content. If you jump into Reaper 2 right now as a new Bleach fan, you will be enjoying the game. Basically, the game is just really packed with content. You have many races to choose from. You got Fullbringers, Soul Reapers, Quincy's, 
are wrong cars. You basically have everything. True fast, the lower days. It's so much races you have, so much content in the game. The game is just amazing with content. The PvP is decent. I mean, there's nothing crazy like Type Soul or anything crazy like the number one spot on the list. But the PvP was good for its time. And I know a lot of people who play reaper 2 right now still plays it to this day because they really do like the game the game was really good in its time i really do like the game because basically i started my entire channel of playing this game so this game has a special part in my heart special spot in my heart and i really do like this game and the reason totally not biased for putting it just way too high i know a lot of people don't like the game but i know when the game first came out a lot of people did like it because the game was just really good for its time and i know a lot of you, a lot of you guys really enjoy the game if you hop on it right now if you've never played it because the game just has so much stuff and plus one thing that it does have that a lot of these games on this list do not have is canon abilities. The only other game on this list that has canon abilities is that of Project Mugetsu. But if you guys want to play a Bleach game with canon stuff, then just play this game because everything in this game is canon. There's only a few non-canon stuff like Conquistador and I think that's pretty much it. That is the only non-canon stuff they did in the game. And yeah. The game in a whole was good, it has so much content, everything about it is just really good. The combat, I mean the combat still needs its works, so like it feels like so buggy sometimes, but <laughs> it's really nice. But number one on the list is of course Perksat. Perksat is the new gen thing on the block <laughs> where every Bleach fan is playing right now. Even though it's not completely Bleach kind of stuff, but it does have a lot of kind of stuff, but a lot of non kind of stuff as well. So Perksat. Perkside is really good. It's a really good game. It's basically Reaper 2, Type Soul, and Project Mugetsu had a baby. <laughs> and then they just made this. They just made this game. Good graphics, good PvP, good progression. The progression is not that crazy. It's very easy. All you need to do is just S-rank invasion, board missions, and etc. I mean, at a, at a certain point where you're like level 90, you don't even need to do S-rank invasions anymore. You can just farm your Bankai, Volsenning, or Seguna, because it gives a decent amount of levels. Then right after that, you have so much content in the game doesn't have a lot a lot of content like reaper 2 where reaper 2 has content for every single race but this game does have content for every race as well just the fact that it is still in its early stages so we can't just judge it from the content right now so for a game that released it released really good compared to all the other bleach games it drops a segunda bankai's like it, it dropped it everything and it's really nice it, has, it even has something that we've never seen in any other bleach game which is the vast rage transformation the ichigo visor transformation that is something i've never seen in any other bleach game and this game did it which was really amazing but yeah perk sad is like the best bleach game we have out right now the thing that i that a lot of people dislike about Perksad is basically the fact that the updates so far have not been that really good. They only added a few stuff, but I mean, it's still, at least we're still getting updates, like compared to some other games that they have to wait like a whole year to get updates. So, I mean, as long as we can wait to see whatever comes next, we already know Full Rangers will be coming next for Perksad, but I really do like Perksad. So, if you guys want to play a Bleach game, just pop on Perksad because Perksad has everything that you need right now. And plus, it's the only game on this list that has been getting updates recently because Roger Mugetsu updates are non existent. Uh, Tight Soul updates comes out now and then, and etc. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Can you sign off? And peace.